Oh. Mm. Oh my god, it's a good shake. Hey guys, good morning. I hope everyone's doing really well. Alright guys, so I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't cooked any food for a long time and I really want to cook something. So I was thinking about like spam, right? So spam, like when you think about it, it brings back so many memories. It's been around for like so long. Um, and I remember my mum cooking it uh, when we were really poor. So um, it's like it's like a poor man's food, right? But you can make a lot a lot of things out of it. So I want to, um, I'm just thinking I want to teach you guys three ways to cook spam and how to use it on a budget and what you can do, what you can um, use spam for in like such a good way. So I think um, I'll do that today and um, I'll show you how to do it three different ways guys and um, help you save money in the long run as well. So um, that's well, that's how we saved a lot of money growing up. You know, we were really poor. So I think it's a I think it's a good way to show people like what you can do how to save money because all the prices have actually gone up the prices have gone up with a lot of things and things are getting more expensive and it's good to like find ways of like how to save money hey guys what's up all right so we're gonna first make is burgers so burgers out of these spam things right here guys so it's really easy so first one I'm gonna do is get some brioche buns brioche is really good so it's got that nice natural buttery Sorry about my awkward uh, kitchen, it's really awkward, um, I don't know, I, my kitchen's really crap, I can renovate it but I just couldn't be bothered, I love my crappy kitchen, so yeah, I'm sorry if the camera is at a weird angle, it's just my kitchen's really shit, so yeah. Just always toast your buns, toast the buns guys, because when you toast it, it actually, um, it helps it from getting soggy and stuff, so that's what you want to do, so toast these suckers here, so we'll wait for these buns to to toast up. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my my upbringing, like how poor it was. So it was really poor. Um, growing up, my mum, I'm, I'm half Filipino, half Greek, so my mum's Filipino. And when we were poor, when we were little, my mum would always like, um, I remember this, so Spam, right? So Spam, Filipinos are really good with like, or Asians are really good with inventing, making like gourmet meals out of nothing. So my mum being Filipino, she would have Spam and she would make like, like absolutely delicious meals out of it and and that's what I appreciate about my about the Filipino side they're very inventive they know how to make like some from something little from a can of tuna or spam whatever it is they can just make make that into a gourmet meal and I think that's why like that's something I really appreciate a lot about um, about my mum you know about my upbringing and being poor it taught us a lot and I think that's why, I, how that's how I'm able to travel the world, is because my mum taught me how to save money, like buy little things, and you can make big portions out of nothing, and that's how you save money. And that's what I appreciate from my mum, like what she taught me, um, how to make, you know, just, you know, you can make stuff like still healthy, but like you can make a big meal out of nothing, you know. So you just got to get creative and stuff. But I think that's just like a. Um, I think that's just like an Asian thing. Like, I find that like in Asia, they're very inventive. So you got Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines, and, and all these other Asian countries, and they're very inventive. They know how to create little things and make it into something special. And I think that's what um, I find really, really good about, um, really good about uh, Asian culture. They're very inventive. So, so yeah, that's what I really like about it. And that's why I'm, I am proud to be half Asian, you know, and I have that natural inventive side. I think that's from my Filipino side. So, all right guys, so they're now toasted guys. So this is what you want right here. So have them toasted like that guys. All right guys, so the main bit is the Spam. We've got it here. So we're just gonna open this up like here. This is what I like about the Spam is like, you can really open it easy. It's just like, boom, like that. And then it's just like, all right. It's so easy. Like it's so easy. It's so good. I love sort of love that spam. Now one thing I do like to do guys is putting garlic, like fresh garlic, guys. There's something about garlic that I love. 
and it just brings out a little bit of that garlicky flavor. So I just put a bit of it, not too much, just a little bit. And it's just gonna infuse it a bit. So, so I'll just do that now. Oh, you can just, oh, you can just smell it already. It's so, I wish you can smell this, guys. You know that smell of garlic? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, amen. Be it infused the oil as well, which is so cool. Spam, the main, main ingredient, guys. So we're just gonna chuck that in now. There we go, chuck that in. Boom, boom, boom. Let that cook a bit. It's kind of getting a bit brown, the, um, the spam. So what I want to do, guys, I love cheddar. So cheddar cheese, Ooh. Cheddar cheese has that nice, I don't know, there's something about cheddar cheese I love. So I'm just going to put that, just like a burger, on meat, put the cheese on there, um, and let it melt a little bit before I put it on the bun. Okay, so I'm going to put some salad, some bit of salad on top of the bun. So put that on first. All right, so the thing we're about ready now, the, um, the cheese is kind of like melted, so we're just going to put that onto the... Oh yeah, this looks good. One by one on the bun. And next I want to do is, I want to put like... I love egg, so I want to cook some egg now. Now because we've got that, that oil infused with that garlic, these eggs are going to taste really good. So we're going to put that in there now. So we still have that oil in there. And it's going to just get infused with all that goodness, guys. This is just me, but I love my eggs um, cooked both sides. I don't really like the yolk. Um, I don't know why like everyone loves their yolk coming out, but I think it's disgusting. So I, I technically like fry both sides, like everything cooked. That's just me, guys. I don't know if it's you, but that's just me. We didn't actually nearly finish the burgers. So I put the tomatoes, the onions, mustard, tomato sauce. And it's going to look like an actual burger, like a McDonald's burger, guys, so yeah. Alright guys, so we're done now, so the eggs are cooked, I'm just going to put them on the actual burger, right now. There we go, beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see, uh, sorry, it's my shit kitchen. Uh, Alright, so, it's on the burger now, I'll just... So, I'm going to put everything on here. There we go, the burger bun. Boom, boom, done. That's it there, guys, that's it there. The two burgers, well, Spam burgers, check it out. That's so good. You like it? Wow, I'm going to be like the best husband ever, ever. I can cook really good. Fried rice, guys, and I'll cook, I'll show you how to make it with Spam and the fried rice. It's so easy, guys, so let's go. All right, so fried rice is so easy, guys, with Spam. So the first thing you do is the same thing, oil, then the garlic, guys, all right? So make sure you use fresh garlic. Got the fresh garlic right here. Sorry about my nose. I don't know what I'm... I don't know if I've got a cold or something, but it's just really runny. So sorry. So I'm going to put the fried um, garlic in here. And let it in a few first, guys, all right? So I'm going to mix it around until it gets brown, okay? Oh, my God. So damn good. All right. Next thing, guys, is the eggs, guys. You want to fry two eggs, all right? So just two eggs. You know, one there. And just one there. There we go. And just move those around, all right? Just let it scramble around, all right? Next, guys, you want to get frozen, these frozen um, carrots and pea and corn. So, this is Aussie made, so this is from Australia grown, so it's still good. Frozen ones are fine, guys, so don't worry. Just put a bit in there, just a little bit. All right, guys, so next you want to put is the spam, guys, all right? So, I'll put a bit of spam here. Check that all in there. Put some basmati rice so it's already been cooked guys all right make sure it's cooked rice and we're just going to chuck that inside here so cooked rice chuck that inside here guys boom done three, three teaspoons of soy sauce oh i can really smell it guys it smells so damn good do just add a little bit of salt, not too much because the soy sauce is very salty. So just a bit of it. There you go, just a bit. There you go, and that should be all right. It's still cooking. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh my god. So as I was going through Asia, guys, I could see, like, especially like the Philippines. Um, when I was in the Philippines, um, there were a lot of Western men, and I was like thinking, and they have like families with them. 
And I was just thinking, I'm like, wow, did you see a lot of Western men with Filipino uh, wives or, or, or Asian wives in particular? And I always ask, I always seem to ask like um, Western men, why, you know, what's the reason why you're like dating an Asian woman or a Filipino woman, Filipino women in particular? And they would always say the same thing. Western men would always say they're very loving, caring. Um, they can cook really good food, which is true. They clean. They just treat them like a king. And they're just very genuine and, and lovable people. And so I was just like, well, that's kind of true. Because my mom is like that. And, and well, that's why my dad, you know, married my mom. <laughs> but it's just thinking like, like as you, what I've been thinking about a lot lately is like, I'm like now in my 30s, right? And like, I, I have different needs now. Like when I was like in my my teens or my 20s, I used to be like, oh, I just want a hot, you know, I want a hot girl. That's your, like your typical, typical thing. And, but now when you get older, your needs change. You want like, I think good looks are just a bonus now, but personality is so damn important. And so now that I'm like, I'm, my whole life, right, and I'm not here to like offend, I'm not here to offend anyone or any culture or nothing like that. I'm just going by my own experience only is that my whole life, I've, obviously I live in Australia. I've been dating like Western women my whole life, my whole life. I have never actually, I think I've just dated one ethnic woman, but every girl has been um, a Western woman, an Aussie chick. And I find that like... I find like they they are beautiful. Western women are beautiful women. There are some, not all of them, but there are some like that are friendly and kind-hearted. But there's a lot I find now in my 30s. There's a lot of things that like I find that they're they're lacking. And when you see a lot of um, a, a lot of uh, Western men go to Asia and Philippines in particular, they they say that they're dating, they're marrying Filipino or Asian women because. They just have all the characteristics they're looking for at when because they're older now and they're just loving, caring, and they can cook. They're just amazing people. Where Western women, they've got like the kindness as well and the beauty, but they, I find that Western women kind of and just now I'm not offending anyone, but I'm going by my own experience. I find that Western women they lack a lot of characteristics compared to Asian women. So when you look at um, Filipino women compared or Asian women compared to Western women, Aussie women, like the Filipino Asian women have more than I'm looking for, way more. Like they're obviously so beautiful, they're good looking, they have great bodies, they're fit, they can cook, they can clean, they treat you like a king, they're calm, friendly, kind hearted. Where Western women have a little bit of that, but they lack a lot of what Filipino or Asian women have. So I think there's like, there is a lot of competition there. Like these days, a lot of Western women got to look out that, you know, they, they do have competition. That's why I think you see a lot of Western men go overseas to find a wife because um, I think a lot of overseas women, you know, um, in Asia, they have that family orientation. They're very family and just warm hearted and, and where the Western culture, they're not like that. And so that's what I'm kind of looking for now. Like, well, I'm not on the hunt. I don't really want a partner. But if I was, it would be now, I would stop. I don't really want to date Western women. I do particularly admire and I find very attractive the Asian woman and particularly the Filipino woman. So that's kind of like what I'm looking for now. Because I'm at an older age, I'm now different. I'm not just looking for a hot woman. I'm looking for a long term, you know, if I was wanting to date. So... I think, yeah, Asian women have a lot of good characteristics and and that's how I learned how to cook all these foods because my mom being Filipino, Asian, she taught me like all these great dishes and I think that's what, you know, Filipino, Asian women have um, amongst Western women and that's why um, Western women have a lot of competition now and I think that's what a lot of Western women have to kind of understand now. They have a lot of competition, but yeah. But I'm not here to offend anyone. It's just my personal experience, and that's what I would be looking for now at my age, in the, in, the, in my 30s now. All right, guys, so we're done the fried rice. Check it out, guys, with the Spam. Oh, it smells absolutely delicious, guys. Oh, my God. So we're going to plate this up now. So we did the burgers. Now we've done 
is the fried rice. Next guys, I got a surprise. I want to do spam chips, fried chips guys. I saw this Filipino lady had, she's got this business in America and I saw her on TV, she's making spam fried, um, fried um, spam chips. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. So I did my own little recipe. So I'll show you how to do it and I'll, I'll do it right now guys. We've got the spam cut up. So these are the chips for the spam. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put plain flour, We've got um, garlic powder, um, onion powder. Um, we've got. I like to put a bit of um, curry powder in the actual fries in the in the batter, which is nice. Um, white pepper. I love white pepper. It has that different taste of black pepper. A uh, bit of bit of salt, guys. Bit of salt. And last is paprika. Paprika is really good. It's got like that smoky, fiery flavor, which is pretty good. So yeah, is the egg. So we've got the egg here, guys. So we're just gonna like, this is just to like coat it first. Coat it first to get that started, guys. Oh my God, it's so hot here in, in, in Australia and in Brisbane. My God, and my nose is, is so runny. I don't know why, what the fuck? But yeah, this is the last one. So the fries are, are the last ones, man. I'm so done. I'm so, so fucking over this shit, eh? I'm over it. Oh my god, I'm just so hungry. I haven't even lunch. Starving. I'm hangry. You know, hangry, you get grumpy. I get really grumpy. I'm like, as a male, I get really grumpy when I don't eat. I get so angry. Not crazy angry, but just, just get like agitated, you know what I mean? But yeah. Alright. So that's done guys. Alright guys, we're ready guys. So we've got the um, oil really hot now. We've got the batter right here guys. And so we've got the um, the fries. And we're just going to put it into the batter. We're going to get that started guys. Oh yeah. It's ready, so it's really hot. There we go. I'm doing kind of like a pan fry. If you know what I mean. So pan fry just makes it that nice, a little bit crispier. I'll show you this guys, so that's it there. That's the um There you go. Boom. Oh Ooh, there we go. They're cooking really quick guys, shit. Try not to burn them. <laughs> shit. Damn they're cooking so quick. Holy crap. Damn. Okay, they're gonna be ready in like one minute guys, literally. Okay, right, so they're ready now. What I do like to do, my secret is, I do like to put chicken salt. Chicken salt is like so delicious. So I'll just put a bit of chicken salt in here. Cute little fries. I was so lucky, they cook so quick guys. I didn't burn it, so I was very lucky. I did not burn it. So thank goodness for that. There we go. All right, that should, I think, just squeeze one there. there. Look at that. <laughs> fries, spam fries, booyah. Here we go. Oh my God. You ready? Check this out. See, we've got the fries here. We've got the burgers and we've got the fried rice, guys. How good is that? Well, how good would I be of a husband? I'd be like the best husband ever. Look how good I can cook. Isn't that awesome? Damn, this is my lunch, guys. This is so awesome. Oh my God. Oh, it's not. Check out the fries. I really, I'm so proud of these fries. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like so crispy. Oh yeah, spam fries. All right guys, so the moment of truth, taste test everything. We're gonna first do is the burgers because I cooked the burgers first. So let's do the burgers first. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, check this out guys. So there's the burgers right here. <laughs> It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good actually. Mmm. Damn, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Oh man. Oh my god. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so. Mm. Oh my god, oh my god. I would pay 
I'll let you pay twelve dollars for this burger. Easy. Mmm. Mm. That is really good. <laughs> Holy shit. That burger was insane, guys. Alright, so next one is the fried rice. So the fried rice. Oh my god. That fried rice is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And that spam. This is that meaty saltiness to it. That's amazing. Really good. Spam really makes a difference in the fried rice. Because I don't usually put meat in it. Damn. That's beautiful, mate. Hot diggity. Damn. Alright, guys. So last and final, guys, is the spam fries. Alright, so. Oh, right. get a good, Get a good one here. Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow, wow, wow. Now that batter makes a really good difference. Oh my god. Oh my god. That batter tastes so damn good. Oh my god. It is beautiful. It's not even too salty at all. I thought it would be really salty because of the spam. But it's perfect. That curry powder inside makes it, gives it that little kick. Mmm. I don't even know one. Mmm. Mmm. Spam fries, guys. Hot diggity. Alright, guys. So, I'm just on my laptop here. And I'm just trying to find... Um... You're going to the Philippines soon. So my first stop this year is the Philippines guys. I cannot wait. I'm going to be going to Cebu, city of Cebu in the Philippines. I'm actually going to stay there the whole time. I'm going to be there for like a week and a half and I'm going to be doing giveaways, gift giveaways, surprises, all that stuff, but also explore the markets and the scenery and the culture as well there because I really, I hear a lot of good things about, um, about Cebu that Cebu is like the food haven as well but just everything about Cebu I love and I want to meet people there and all that stuff so um, I am also half Filipino so I do have family there so I'll see them there as well but I'm just trying to um, yeah I'm just trying to find places to book because the last place the last hotel I booked was was kind of wasn't that great um, yeah, it wasn't that great. I don't know. The food was horrible. It was really bad. And it was just expensive as well. So we had to like go out and actually order food from outside and bring it in. So yeah, that's the that was the bad thing. But um, but anyway, guys, I want to end the video here now. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a great day, guys. Peace out, guys. Bye.